G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna go with the exact same colors that I went with for the last pour, but I'm gonna do flip and drags. I wonder if I can do four. Just to show you the difference between two flips uh, where you don't get the stripies and the flip and drags where you do get the stripies. Just gonna spray these, I forgot to do them off camera. Just going to use my silicone spray and give them a very light little spray and then just wipe them with the paper towel to get the excess out and then I can start layering. So these are my small cups so I thought I'll try some drags yeah exactly the same colors I think I've got them in the same order I think I can't remember now <laughs> yeah I don't think I had the two I don't think I had the two cools together and the two warms together I think I had it like that so pretty thick mix mound on a mound just gonna turn my air con on it's getting cool before I turn it off we've only got about oh a week not even that till um till winter starts and um it's quite warm, <laughs> sunny days, having to put the air conditioner on. Go figure. Right, uh, same pouring medium as the last one. 70% glue, this is glue all. I am gonna have another go at the school glue for people that can't get glue all. I'll do a series with school glue and see how we go. Uh, 70 glue all, 30 water. So if you didn't see my last pour in these lovely bright colors, that's it there. So as I said, I'm going to recreate it, but instead of doing the flute, the two flips, you can see where the two cups were. There's a join in the middle, stripies. I'm just going to do flip and drags and see if we can actually go for the stripies. I want more black. I didn't get the black that I wanted last time. Silicone oil is the treadmill, spot on treadmill. And I'm going to go for four drops. One, two, three, four. I started with 60 grams of pouring medium, 60 grams of paint. But as always, depending on the consistency of each paint, sometimes you have to change them. This pink was 50-50, 60 grams pouring medium, 60 grams of paint. The turquoise was really quite thin. I did 50 grams of pouring medium and 70 grams of paint. I really had to thicken that one up. The turquoise is always like that. The orange, I did 60 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of paint because the orange is thicker. And the purple, I did equal amounts. 60 grams of pouring medium, 60 grams of paint. It's a light purple. I did give it a little splash of water it's made with a lot of white, so the white's quite thick. And of course my black, I did 60 grams of pouring medium, 50 grams of black, and a tiny squirt of water. Righty-o. And I've got a little bit of black left over from my class from yesterday, if I want to add a little bit more black in, because I really didn't get the black that I wanted last time. Oh, this is still feeling thick. The last one I did two squirts of water and this one I only did one, but it's just, I can feel it's a bit thick, so I'm gonna add a bit more water. It's just not flowing as easily into the cup as it should. Mound on a mound. Radio. Now I'm not gonna have as much paint because got to do four cups. I might actually put a little bit of black in between, like I said on the last video. Do two colours, put a little bit of black in. Do two colours, put a little bit of black. So I'm not going to add any more black to the pour, but just sort of separate it a little bit. Just to see if I can get some more black popping through, because these colours are just awesome with black. Okay, now a little drizzle of black. Not too much. 
Otherwise, I'm going to run out of black. Onto the turquoise. So I've basically got, I'll show you the colours after I've flipped these over. Lilac, orange, turquoise, and a yummy hot pink. All these colours look awesome with black. No white to be seen in today's pour. A little bit more black. So it's my fifth video today, Sunday, day off. I only had one day off last week and I had the pouring workshop yesterday. Day off today, back to work tomorrow, doing four days in a row. So I'm not going to be able to pour again until next Friday. So I thought I better do a few videos for you. And that way when I'm working and I can't pour, because I leave before, you know, when it's almost dark and come home and it's dark and I don't really feel like pouring after a busy day at the hospital. So I want to sit with my doggies and watch some MasterChef. So if I do a few today, I can still upload the video every day or maybe every second day. while I can't actually pour. How does that sound for a plan? Why have I got paint left over? I shouldn't have paint left over. I mustn't be putting enough in. I mean, four cups is thrown me. I never do four cups on these little canvases or little cards. This is a 30 by 40. I always do um, three. So four is just throwing me. Got a little bit of paint left over. I have to try and use it. Um, now this paint that I used yesterday for the swipe, it's probably a little bit on the thin side. Let me have a look. Just poured some in there with the rest of that. I think it'll be all right. Let's have a little bit of black. It's probably going to be too black now, isn't it? I've got a little bit of paint left over, so I'm just going to have to use it up. I don't know why. It's obviously gone too small with my layers. I hope they won't blend too much. I don't usually like doing three layers. I'd rather have two big layers. Just do orange in these two. Do a little bit of turquoise in the other two because I haven't got that much of it. A little bit left. Okay, it's a lot of paint. We don't need so much paint for a little canvas like this. I only needed 50 grams of each, like 50 grams of pouring medium, 50 grams of paint, but I went 60 60. So I'm going to have a lot. That's what I did in the last one. Just means I can move it around more without overstretching everything. Right, colours. If you missed them last time, here they are again hibiscus, orange, turquoise. Lilac, that's purple and white mixed together, just for a lighter purple, and the old black. So that's them. After this pour, I can 
clean up. And that'll be it for the day. I've done pretty well. It's only 4.30 in the afternoon and I've done five videos, I think. Five? Four? I can't remember. Did that really big one. Um, I show you guys this I might have shown you this at the end of one of the other videos but I'll show you again it's all dry now my sort of um, poured and swiped <clears throat> in certain areas the gold's shining there looks really good so I'll one day I'll, I'll do a big one of those and show you how, to, how it's done because they're relatively easy to do uh, what else can I show you this is dry you've probably seen this one already that was my rainbow split cut pour, so all dry. And what else? I don't know that I've got anything else to show you at the moment. Ah, let's get this done and I can show you other things later. Righto, flip and drag. And I don't want to get the blobby bits down the bottom, so I'm gonna not let my cup sit at the end for too long. No, don't run away, orange. Get some of that orange back. Okay. Well, the black's much more prominent with a flip and drag, that's for sure. Although I did put a little bit of extra in between the layers, didn't I? So it could be that, or it could just be because of the drag. But either way, I'm happy because I wanted that black. Right. Let's just cover this side first. A lot of paint on here, so it's almost covered anyway. Let's see if I can keep some of that. Just threw my sticks out. Too much paint, methinks. Alrighty, turn it around. Don't drip in the middle. So you can see the stripies there, can't you? The definite stripes. And because I've used four cups, it's much more stripy than if I just did two flip cups without dragging them. Let's move that paint down a little bit. Get it moving down there. What's that? Is that just a bubble or is that something in there? Which is a real shame because it's right on that, oh it's a bubble, <laughs> it's right on that pretty pink cell. All right, I'm going to torch now and hopefully I'll get some pretty cells coming up through all this blackness because that's what I really want. I want the black to be in the background and I want some beautiful bright cells to pop through the black background. That's what I want, asking a lot. I think, am I? I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what happens. It certainly is darker than the one that I just did. I keep telling myself, slow down with the torching. Don't go too close. that a minute. Got a bit of a blobby thing happening here. Sometimes you get that with a drag because if it catches a piece of silicone it kind of drags it through so you've got to match um, mix your silicone really well but if the cup does grab a, a big drop of silicone it sort of yeah elongates it. a little bit more here just in that center there all 
Okay, that's enough. <clears throat> now, let's see if the magic will happen once these cells start stretching and, <clears throat> and growing. We'll see what we get. Now this corner is pretty much covered, so I'm going to go there first. Take the paint down a little bit and over to the corner. Nice and slow. You can see the weight of the paint's there because that's where I want it to go. So make sure you get your, the weight of the paint to where you want it to go to. Now I'm actually going to go the other way. Even though I don't have to cover anything there, I want to stretch my cells. So I'm going to just go up to that corner a little bit. Get the paint to go over there. And then I'll come back, bring it down a little bit, and then around and back up into that corner. Big kind of big circle. I can push that side off, hopefully without pushing too much off the end. Orange is going a little bit brown. It's going to stop there for a minute. Just see if I can put a little bit of paint there. It's having a bit of trouble getting over to that last little corner. See that looks a bit odd now, that bit of black. I'm gonna have to have to try and get to that corner. If I can. So I don't like that there. So I'll get rid of that and hopefully push that corner over at the same time. Nice and slow. I'm going to hang on to my card before I lose it over the edge. Okay, it's gone. Yay. Slowly bring the white paint back. Clean off the edge there so I can see where the edge of the card is. Okay, now it's a bit wobbly there, so I'm going to just try and straighten up that line, bring the paint back to the middle where I want it to go so I can straighten that line. Figured if you're going to do stripes, you might as well have them as straight as possible. If you want to do curves, then you do curves, but I wanted to do stripes for this one. Wow! Loving it. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit too black. I'm just never happy, am I? I wanted more black in the last one. I got more black. And now, uh, I think I probably wanted blocks of black rather than shades of black. Look at my black gloves. But I guess the black just does that, doesn't it? It, it mixes in with the other colours and changes them slightly. Now I don't like how this turquoise just stops here. Let's see if I can maybe just run that down a little bit. That's better. Just playing with the composition, stretching some cells out, pushing a little bit more paint over the edge here. These are a little bit small here and these are quite big so I'm just trying to stretch those ones out just a touch. And then take the weight of the paint back again. Don't leave all the weight down there where you've just put it. Try and centre it a little bit. Try to, not to 
fiddle too much because once you start overstretching your cells, you'll, they'll lose their round shape and they'll go sort of oblong and wobbly and all that. So best not to overstretch them. But look at these. Look at those pink ones. Amazing. All right, gloves off. I'm going to take you down for a close-up. Actually, before I do that, I'll show you the first one so you can see the difference. Okay, so that's the, the flip. Actually, now that I'm looking at it there, I do want to bring some of this. Oh, I don't know. These just look too squished for me. Let's see if I can bring them down a little bit. I should have taken my gloves off. Let a little bit of that paint go. And I can bring them back. Just needed to open that up a little bit. Um, now I need another glove. Just needed to open that up a bit. It was a bit too squished. Yeah, I'm happier with that. Actually, there's one thing I would like to do. I can. This panel here, I just want to open it up a bit. Let me see if I can get my hand under there and just open that up just a touch. And you can do that with these cards. There. Now I'm happy. Just opened up that pink a little bit. Got a little bit of this muddy brownish, orangish off, off the side. And look, that's what happens. You know, if you're going to be using orange and black or yellow and black, that's going to happen. You're going to get a brownish kind of a colour. But yeah, I'm happier with that. She says as she moves it. All right. I like how that turquoise is opened up. That pink is gorgeous. Right. -o. So here's the other one. Two flip cups. Four flip and drags. Two flip cups. Four flip and drags. What do you prefer? made an awful mess. I don't know. I really like the darkness in that one and the little bright pops of colour. Whereas this one's kind of more bright everywhere. Mmm. What do you guys think? Take it down for a close-up. You can check them out. Okay. So we've got some pink stripes, some black background, there's the orange. It just doesn't pop as much on, on camera. No, oh, that's better. It's darker. Beautiful pink cells there with the orange. The turquoise is a opaque colour and the black's an opaque colour. So those two have kind of gone to the background and then the pink and the orange are semi-transparent so They've sort of more come up to the surface and created cells. And there's the other one. So definitely not a stripey. More muted. Still pretty. Both pretty. Just 
depends what you like really. There they are there. I don't know. I'll sell them as a set. I do sell sets of cards, these cards that I pour on. Um, when it's dry, I'll, I'll put it up on the, um, not on the Facebook page, well, it, on my um, Pouring Your Heart Out page. And uh, they'll be for sale there later on when they've had time to dry as a set. Uh, because they're easy to post overseas. It's not, not expensive to post Okay. Righto. Hope you've enjoyed that. Tell me which one you like. I'll see you for the next one in a week. All right. Bye for now.